punch, but like, I feel like he's been a little bit absent. I must agree with your experience there, Osti. I haven't seen too much Joker, and he's not a character that's exactly known for being great offline or online, rather. Hold up, though. We have Lyra playing Rosalina and Luma rather than Zero Suit Samus. I'm not sure if I like this. I think Joker actually really has his way with this character. There are so many mm. easy ways to kill Luma if you manage to get your hands on him. And uh, that's just such a core of this character. Of course, she's also light and huge, just like Zero Suit Samus, but lacks that mobility and some of that offensive presence to make up for it. Yeah, I mean, not only does a lot of his disjoints from the dagger are able to, like, catch Luma off guard, he also has the ability from the gun, but hey, you know Bro, what? Maybe you know what? Luma is the way to go. Disregard everything I just said. Of course, this character, she has an incredibly high ceiling, and if you're able to even slightly push it, then you can see some massive results for it. Lyra doing just that. Also, just want to point out, Lyra is repping Japan because that's where he was born, despite currently being a resident of Taiwan. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, he is on the Taiwan PR, I'm pretty sure. But, like, yeah, going all the way from Japan, making the move over there. Still qualifying for the East Asia t t tournament, right? Because in, later on in the top 16, it's going to be East Asia and Japan mixing us together. Exactly. Odds are he will play some Japanese players in that offline portion. So if he can qualify cool to see. Yeah, exactly. If he wins this. And Arsene is out now. All right, this is party time for Joker. We didn't really get to see Arsene do anything at all on the first stock, but this could be a huge momentum swing, especially if he takes the stock relatively quickly with a good amount of meter left. Yeah, and a lot of the time, like, the first stock just doesn't matter too much, especially in, like, the first game, because people are just still trying to figure each other out. So momentum can easily shift throughout the rest of the set, just like we saw right there. You know, we've already seen... Junkyard dude starting to bring it back a bit, not taking too much damage uh, upon uh, upon a second stock. Ooh, the guns into the drag down up there. I love it. Junkyard dude doing Joker some justice here. One of the few online reps for this character, it seems, throughout the world tour, like we pointed out. But man, what a huge swing that Arsene was, right? He basically took the stock, evened up the percents, killed Luma. There was so much that he got out of that one Arsene. I feel like Luma has not been in this match at all. She really has not, or he, I, I don't even know. It, it. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> there we go again. Oh, I, I think Junkyard did probably just assume Luma was going to fall off there because he didn't go for the follow up. I mean, I thought he was. There we go. Luma's out of the equation. Here we go. Now, this is a point where Rosalina is kind of easily manipulated off stage, right? Because she doesn't have an active hitbox on the upbeat. She just kind of floats towards the edge. And But we're seeing a lot of back airs coming out from uh, Junkyard Dude whenever he just like drops through the platform of Smashville. Yes, edge guarding, certainly one of oh. Joker's strong suits. And oh, very unfortunate. Lyra aiming the up be the wrong direction, blowing a stock at 12% or something. And that's going to give Junkyard Dude the first game after a really shaky first stock. I mean, he got destroyed and then made a huge comeback with a little help from his opponent. Yeah, absolutely put into a body bag. I mean, you saw again, the second he got Arsene, he, sp he tried to go towards the edge of the stage and Lyra was right there at the cover and took that first stock immediately. And then Junkyard Dude was like, all right, bet, and then went for a three stock. Yeah, basically a reverse three stock after the yeah. first initial kill. Man, that was crazy. I, I think Rosa really does have the short end of the stick in a matchup like this. Joker is just so quick, has phenomenal edge guards to capitalize on that lack of a hitbox on a B. Plenty of ways to kill Luma, good burst options to get in there. And yeah, I mean, being big and light in Smash is just not a good trait to have, especially against characters like Joker, who are really strong against tall guys. Like you could hit him with rising back air. You can hit him with the gun from a short hop without having to worry about them ducking underneath it. Like short characters mm -hmm. definitely give him trouble, but tall characters. Oh, Joker has a great time with that. Oh, yeah. And, and both of the characters at a uh, leader's disposal are happen to be tall. Do you think he's going to switch over to Zero Suit? I think it would be worth his time at the very least. Better to try it out when you're only down 0-1 rather than when you're facing elimination, right? Like he clearly yeah. had a reason to pick the Rosa after that first stock, but uh, I don't know, maybe the SD will make him consider otherwise and just sticking with what he went with originally and being like, you know what? Pikachu? Oh, what? Never mind. I mean, I, 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 like this is actually not the worst pick. This is pretty good because we were, we were literally just talking about how Joker can combo tall characters pretty easily. And Pikachu is known for pancaking after his aerials. Yeah, one of the few characters that I'd say really does give Joker some trouble. Maybe not a winning or losing matchup on either side. Could be dead even. Who knows? But these are like the shoe-ins for top two in the game, right? Everybody thinks one of these two is the best character, probably. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if they're both going to be top tier, 
hopefully enough uh, gameplay goes into this matchup where both sides come out feeling comfortable and like it's it's doable for them. Mm -hmm. And we're starting off immediately with Lyra trying to play super aggressive, like going in with the aerials and instead of trying to like, play slightly safer with the Thunder Jolts. I mean, yeah, that's one of Pikachu's strong points, especially against a character like Joker, who really only has like a ha and gun to try to counteract that. So plus Thunder Jolt just starts into so many combos afterwards, you know? Absolutely. You also have the benefit of absorbing some meter off of it, right? And mm -hmm. when you have our scent, of course, you can reflect it, but you don't really want to be doing that. That's not a very proactive strategy. Yeah, that's like a once in a blue moon type of thing. Okay, right, so here far, we go. Lyra taking firm control of the stage, throwing these thunder jolts out. Junkyard dude's in now, but instead just gets his cross up blown up by a bear out of shield. Now he's on the ledge. No Arsene left. Uh oh, I'm throw thunder. Yeah, it doesn't work for real, for real. Yeah, if you're, you're easily di, then that's exactly what Junkyard dude did. Ooh, the drag down. That was sick. Ooh, the jab block into the forward smash, just getting it done. Joker does have some absurd kill power, even on his own with certain moves. Forward smash, chief among them. Yeah, that was insanely nasty. Didn't even need Arsene, because, like, you know, sometimes Joker can struggle to get the kill besides, like, using, like, normal back air and stuff. But I'll tell you, a character that doesn't struggle to kill Pikachu, that, that, that dude has a million confirms that lead him to death. Yeah, exactly. His straight hits might not be the scariest, but he has so many setups, and we saw right there, just running underneath Aha works fine as well. Uh-oh. Up tilt. I thought we were going to maybe see the start of a loop there, but Lyra just keeping it simple. I feel like, especially for a pocket Pikachu, right? Like, he didn't even list this character in his top two. Sometimes the simple string is the best, because you're not going to get lost in going for a lot of damage and only getting a little bit at the end of it. Mm. I like how Lyra is playing way more patient whenever Arsene is visible, right? Like you notice that every single time Arsene spawns, Lyra starts to chill back throughout a lot more Thunder Jolts, tries to play a little bit of keyboard. Look there, right there. He had the edge. He was at the edge of the stage, but he recognizes that Arsene's out. So I'm just going to chill a bit, wait for him to go away. And now I'm going to push the aggression. Now I'm going to go in because it's a lot safer. I have less to lose. Yep. Playing the matchup for sure. That's the best thing you can do against Joker is try to burn time. And of course, you get reward for hitting him, too. That takes some of the meter away. And uh, the best defense could be a good offense. Going for a fantastic anti-air. Again, uh, yet another up smash to nail his second stock. Pikachu seems to be working out here. Yeah, not an easy character to play either. So it seems like Lyra is kind of a fan of these complex characters. Pikachu, mm. Rosalina, Zero Suit Samus a little more linear, but we haven't seen her yet. I'm curious as to how he plays her. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, Pikachu's working, dude. Even if he loses this game, I would not be surprised if uh, Lyra is stuck with Pikachu. But right now, he's looking very promising. It is two stocks to one, and he's at high percent. So this could easily go the other way. Eventually, back here will kill with or without Arsene. And speaking of not going to kill just yet, 143%. Can he get back to the stage? He definitely wanted that Thunder Jolt to touch the stage to help him get a little bit more edge guard qualifying. He's still in there, 156%. Throwing out the Thunder Jolt to try to give himself some breathing room. Finally finally finds himself center stage. Those Thunder Jolts would have been the perfect time for a Rebel's guard. Junkyard dude, he was quite a bit away from Arsene, but now he's got him. All right, again, if you get this kill immediately, you get a huge swing in the game. You could get Pikachu way past 37 in the blink of an eye. All right, let's see. How is he going to outlast the respawn invincibility? Ooh, barely gets away with the roll. Lyra, though, going to, again, read this cross up, cover it with back air. Doesn't take enough meter, though. And here we go. It's basically back to even. Junkyard dude making a pretty good... Uh, situation out of this Arsene here, but I don't know. Lyra, Lyra's firing back. Yeah, I mean, Lyra is thriving when Arsene is gone, dude. I am telling you, because like, here we go. Arsene, the second he's gone, Junkyard Dude was immediately off stage. Now, Lyra's trying to do some little bit of drag down combos, but Joker does not need Arsene to rack up that damage, Max. He does not, nor does he need it to kill. As you see that forward smash coming out there, next one of those by the ledge, and you're done. Got to be extra careful around Joker, especially with a light character like Pikachu. Dude, they were shielding right in front of each other and nothing happened. I was so scared. Yeah, right. That stare down. It's always so ominous. No! Oh, Lyra again botching the recovery on the final stock. Super unfortunate, man. You could have seen him up two games right now had that not happened. And you know what? I feel like that could have been a case of someone who doesn't main Pikachu. Granted, he had a phenomenal Pikachu that entire game. But when he found himself in a panic situation where he miss the ledge, starts falling down to the bottom of the stage. You know, when you recover with Pikachu, the optimal way to get back up there was obviously go for like a diagonal and then go for a second one. But because he was in a panic mode and that Pikachu isn't his main, nor is he even listed on his secondary, there could have been some 
be, because he was in a stressful situation that could have prevented him from being able to recover properly, you know? Because it's it's not organic. Pikachu's up recovery is not the most organic thing in the world. Yeah, it definitely requires a little bit of finesse in order to get back every time, right? And in a mm. pinch, that's when the secondary Pikachu or tertiary Pikachu is going to punish you. Very unfortunate. Lyra twice in a row now. But uh, I don't yes, know. Please. Junkyard Dude has been playing well, too. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, even if Lyra didn't SD in the first game with Rosa, like, I think Junkyard Dude would have had that, but that game could have been anyone's. So it, it was insanely unfortunate to see Lyra. And I'm wondering another factor could potentially be nerves right because this is a very important set this is if you win this you are guaranteed a trip to the uh, regional finals happening later in the year and you're playing on the big stage there's people watching you're online there's viewership there's a lot of pressure being there you're down 2-0 and now you're gonna switch to dark samus to dark samus hello wow keeping the suit on for this one all right lira with some very unconventional choices given the info on his player card at least I was not expecting this. I wasn't expecting the Pikachu, if not for the little switch icon right there. Yeah, right. No, they're dark. I mean, like, granted, it could be a Metroid fan. So, you know, just going for the uh, evil counterpart to Samus. Now, this is a interesting matchup, right? Because Samus is by no means considered a high tier character. Like we don't see too much representation from them. However, they do have a little bit of sauce with them, right? One of the things that you could, you could easily do with this character is, you know, play the waiting game for, from your opponent, right? If they don't approach you, you just get a free charge. I think Samus is quite good in this game, potentially mm -hmm. one of the more underrated characters. And I think she's also not terrible against Joker. So I like the pick on paper. Lyra so far, mm -hmm. definitely delivering. Got about a 70% lead for himself at this point. The only issue is how are you going to hit Joker in some of his weird pancake animations? Because we were talking about Pikachu's hitbox or hurtbox shrinkage, but Joker's definitely got that too, and Samus is a character who hates fighting him even more than Joker. I would say Joker turns into a waffle more than a pancake. He's got a little more hype to him. Yeah, you yeah. get a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, moves like Zare, Nair, Back Air, they all kind of just go over tiny hurtboxes, though oh, it has definitely. not proven to be a problem at all for Lyra so far. Ooh, catches the landing. I like it. Just toss him out of there. Again, here we go. Arsene's back up. Aha's going to get strengthened from that. Getting a lot of damage off that, but what a good trade. Yeah, that's so worth it. I'll take 20 over time for the stock. Yeah, no problem, dude. Oh, yo, he's reading him. Gets the rolls. Already busts out 52 damage off of one read. Let's go. 67. It is climbing. Lyra has definitely adapted to this roll habit from Junkyard, dude. He's gotten him pretty much every time he goes for that. Kind of a desperation option to close distance if you feel like your opponent's keeping you out too well. Hmm. The, the, the walling is somewhat effective here. I, I feel like Lyra's... Like, it, Junkyard dude can't get in that hard because every single time, you know, Lyra's over here like shooting a missile, shooting the blaster shot, charge shot, either charging it, what have you. And then there's the Zare as well. Like, the, the range is definitely in favor of Dark Samus. Yeah, sometimes that's all you need, especially as a character like Joker, who's kind of a sortie in his own right. Getting outranged straight up makes some matchups hard for no reason. And he is so good at catching those landings, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, back air to the face out of the startup of his dash. All right, three stocks to one. Lyra, as long as you clutch out your recoveries, bro, you're on pace to make this happen. Okay, 141% up air. Again, that's not going to kill all. He needs the back air or an F smash, and it looks like Lyra's not going to get him. Look at that combo. I mean, he didn't do that much damage, but it, he was in the air for a while. You can see Junkyard Dude is just playing around the fact that Samus has the full charge shot at this point. So Lyra, he's got a lot of ways to take advantage of that. Opens him up for grabs despite the bad frame data on it. Instead, he just throws it out. And now Junkyard Dude can have a little bit more peace of mind despite this huge deficit. One thing that's really... Okay, there we go. Dash tag, that's going to be able to close that. 178%, of course. But one thing that I'm, I'm noticing that's really helping out Lyra that might be a factor in future games is... These platforms on Battlefield are just making it so Lyra can just throw out up Bs, and you have to guess where he's going to land. He land on the top platform, the side platform, or the ground, so it's kind of hard to punish. Definitely some default mix on Battlefield with the character with the DP. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, okay, that looked like it wanted the ledge, but it didn't grab it. Oh, oh my oh, god! You're a genius, bro! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I think if he picked Nair instead of forward air there, that was the end of the game. But Junkyard Dude going to live to see at least another couple seconds here. 
He didn't even charge that F smash. He just threw that out. He like he waited. He stared him in the eyes. He's like, you messed up. Oh, again? Oh, that's that extra end lag from the patch. Lyra on the board here, staying alive with a big two stock in game three. All right. He's he's alive. That's all you could ask for at this point. But you got to win two straight. Make sure you don't mess up the recoveries. I, I think sticking Samus wouldn't be a bad call here. But I would at some point like to see the zero suit if that's his main. I don't think she does terribly against Joker, but I do think it is in his favor. Honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Dark Sam has dominated that game. I feel like that's the pick for the rest of the set. Exactly. Yeah, I, I want to see the zero suit. But if it's in his best interest to stay Samus, then by all means do that. Or Dark Samus, I guess. <laughs> Not that there's much of a difference, but... Yeah, guys, this is a great set already. Lyra, he's shown that he has some firepower, right? When he's on stage, when he's not messing up his recoveries, then this guy can really start cooking. And he plays around Arsene really well with the keep away. Samus only augments that. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And uh, with this next game, the stage is at the Junkyard Dude's choices, right? Like, he has a lot of stages he could potentially take Lyra to. Um... For Dark Samus, I'm not sure what stage he'd want. I feel like he'd maybe want a little bit more breathing room than like a tiny stage like Battlefield. But at the same time, more a bigger stage benefits Dark Samus a lot, especially with all the range, you know, just being able to charge, run away from Arsene if he needs to. So I'm not entirely sure where we're going to be going for this next stage. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something like Smashville to make it really tight between the two and mm -hmm. just make approaching a little bit easier, cover more of the stage with your normals. But I don't know. I think that also applies to Samus, right? Like a Zare occupies a higher percentage of Smashville than FD, for example. Right. And uh, Lyra is the, by the way, the sole Taiwanese rep in top eight. Top seven, I guess, at this point. And, you know, that, that's a lot of, that's, that's a little bit more weight on your shoulders, right? When you got to represent your country like that, and uh, you want to try to make it, but hold on. No longer Joker, now taking out the Min Min. Wow, another surprise pick here from Junkyard, dude. Okay. Lyra, I'm not sure how he's going to respond to this one. I think Samus is one of the few characters that can fight at a further distance from you than Min Min can, so that's going to benefit him. But, mm -hmm. of course, you got to be smart with how you do that, because she can just block your charge shots and make it all feel like you have to start from, you know, ground zero all over again and Lyra is doing this gameplay exactly correct with this matchup right because like he, he one of the few characters that can compete with Min, Min from a distance you notice that Lyra is just kind of like platform jumping a bunch trying to stay in the air because Min, Min gets so much off of the horizontal you can also destroy your missiles with her arms and then send another one out right afterwards so yeah deletes that projectile Exactly. I think a full charge shot is really one of your only saving graces from afar. And of course, Zare, which reaches, I'd say, a little less far than the arms, but still a decent amount. Uh oh. Oh, so close to getting punished amazingly hard by Junk or by, yeah, Junkyard Dude there. That was a fully charged shot that got deleted by the Megawatt, by the way. Holy moly. Yeah, that move is, uh, it feels like it's not okay, man. <laughs> Lyra, press the one if you need help. Well, I mean, it's still three stocks. He's only got a 30% deficit. He's off stage, but he's definitely playing like the, the top of game. Like, I, I Lyra definitely feels like he needs to play the high ground against this character. Like, approaching directly from the ground just doesn't seem to be working too hard. Yeah, Min Min also just has the option to completely disengage with Samus and bait out the charge shot and then capitalize whenever she needs to get it back. I don't know. This matchup seems rough for Samus, but mm -hmm. I, I want to be impressed by Lyra again. The Samus was so good against Joker, who's definitely Junkyard Dude's main, according to his player card. So if you can beat the main, you can beat the pocket min min. I feel like Lyra is still in this 9%, barely any extra credit. He, he has miles to go. Yeah. And honestly, this is like a really good stage for min min. Just the small, the small battlefield being able to just control all the platforms from the ground. Okay, Lyra's getting back on there. Let's see if he can just try to chill. Again, playing patient, going for the projectile game. Min Min, that's what Min, what Min Min wants, is for you to just like run in recklessly and try to be super aggressive against her, and then she can just wall you out, and Lyra's not going to fall for that. Yeah, both of these guys have the objective to stay as far away from each other as possible, and you're seeing that when the action comes to them, that's when the heat starts to turn up. They will scrap it out a little bit, but resetting to neutral for these guys isn't a dash distance away. It's the whole stage away. Right. 
I'm gonna go for that spot dodge to avoid that nair. Oh, th th their grab is further. Look at that. Min Min's grab going farther than Dark Samus's tether. You gotta be on the on the lookout for stuff like that. This character's just made of range, bro. Oh, okay. Gets the landing with the charge shot into dash, dash attack, and that's gonna be a kill. Lyra up a stock now. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Game five, potentially on the way. I feel like every single time a stock is taken, an edge an edge trapping situation from both players are gonna come out. So now again, one stock. This is Lyra's final stock on his last life. He has to get this last one and try to take this to a game five situation. Ooh. Ooh. Bomb dropped on him, runs right into the charge shot. Okay, Lyra coming back here, 80%. Yeah, he's going for these textbook Samus ledge traps, dropping the bombs, just responding to whatever comes next and or confirming off it. Ooh. 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 That was a good shot. Catches a roll, whether it's to the right or the left. We got 127%, throwing out the bombs. Literally just needs one more good charge shot to end this. Oh, that was it. Gets out, calls him out. After the jump from to avoid the charge shot, lands down right on top of him. Was he was so it was like it was like a magician's trick, dude. He was so focused on the ball they didn't see the forward smash coming his way. Absolutely forcing him off the platform with the charge shot and then realizing, all right, you know what? Min Min, she's got incredible range, but it's only straight in front of her. When she's coming down, that 45 degree angle below her is wide open, sneaking a forward smash in there, and Lyra takes it to a fifth game. Max, if you told me that a Dark Samus was on the verge of getting a reverse 3-0 against a Joker and Min Min, I would laugh in your face. I believe but it, man. I believe it. I feel like she's kind of got the sauce against some top tiers where it feels like she should be weak. Like Joker doesn't feel that bad for her. No, not at all. And Min Min, I feel like that's a struggle matchup, but Lyra just overpowered it, you know? Yeah, I mean, he was playing amazingly, especially toward the end, really started to figure things out. The beginning of the match looked like it was good for Junkyard, dude, but Lyra just showing that he refuses to go down. There's a lot of fight left in the sky, and we're clearly seeing that now at the fifth game after the first two kind of ended really tragically. Right, and every game we've seen today has been different characters. Like This has been a counterpick war, and I would not be shocked if we see yet another new character from Junkyard, dude. I mean, he's got... According to his list, he just plays Joker, so that Min Min was definitely coming out of nowhere. So we'll see if he goes back to Joker, if he sticks with Min Min. I think sticking with Min Min might be the right call, unless he has like a brand new character to bust out. He's going to know that Lyra is locked into Dark Samus or whoever he decides to switch to. And yeah, it looks like we're sticking with the same matchup as last time. So Junkyard Dude, in response to seeing Lyra has to play this character again, he's like, all right, you know, just going to formulate a new game plan, play a little bit better, take it to the same stage. Yo, to quote my man Hazmat, he's changing the game plan, not the floor plan. Exactly. I mean, this I mean, this is a great floor plan for Min Min. Like, like she, so she's too. able, it, it's, it's basically Final Destination with a little bit of platforms that she can control with the Ram Ram. I like Junkyard Dude using the soft arms a lot here, just keeping Samus at bay. Doesn't need to build a lot of damage, just needs to consistently win neutral, force her away. And also, while she's in the corner, it's not like she has the luxury of charging up her neutral B and getting some kind of offensive momentum going that way. So far, pretty damn good stock from Junkyard Dude. Hold up, Lyra, though, now getting stage control with a chance to fire back, perhaps literally with that charge shot. Yeah. It could be coming up here soon, just tries to land out the aerial. This is, honestly, this is a war of attrition for Lyra because he has to, every single time he gets a hit, he's, he takes it so far. But it's just, it's very difficult for him to get in there because Junkyard Dude's so good at just keeping him out. Yeah, again, the flurry of the light arms is proving to be a lot for Samus to deal with. She's not a character with phenomenal approach options by any means. Normally, she wants you to come to her and responds out of shield or just with a mix-up up close. Even though her grab's slow, she can force you into shield in a lot of ways. But they're not even playing at a range where that matters too much. Junkyard Dude... Like you said, doing a great job just maintaining this distance. Lyra took a little bit of unnecessary... Oh, going off super deep, trying to get that Zare. He's going to be able to get back on the stage. That tether goes so far to get back onto the stage. I say tether, but it's literally her arm. But she's able to get back onto the stage from that distance. 110%. Lyra going back to playing a little bit passive, trying to weave his way in. He's definitely waiting to see what the option is at a shield. You see him putting out those up airs, putting out his aerials away from the shield, expecting him to either jump forward or jump backwards or do something. But Junkyard Dude's not doing anything. He's just going to hold shield. Lyra on the chase consistently here. Junkyard Dude, just no intentions of giving it up at all. He's almost lapped his opponent at this point. 
Okay, got a ledge trap situation. Min Min with that megawatt Nair is just so scary in a position like this. Yeah, it, it, doubly scary when you see Min Min coming at you like that Ooh. in the air. Three stocks to one. This is looking like a wrap for Junkyard Dude able to try to move this on. Again, just one more stock and you are guaranteeing yourself an invitation to that regional finals happening later. But Lyra is not going to go down without a fight. Here we go. Here come the bombs. Attack, attack on a lot of damage. It's not going to get you the kill. Oh, it does get you the kill. Okay. Okay. Lyra could still turn the tides here. Just needs a really clean stock. Min Min, not the worst recovery, but far from the best as well. So maybe a quick gimp to even that up. But ah, uh, oh, oh, oh. adaptation, bro. <laughs> 70 off the bat. Samus does no. have incredible damage potential. Ooh, if you get mixed. If you would have gotten that F smash after that bomb, I would have lost my mind 103%. Trying to do it again. Oh. oh my god, Lyra's playing out of his mind. He wants to go to this invitational. He almost got the forward. If that forward air would have connected, that would have been the stock. It would have been deleted. Yeah, that was such a well-placed fair and such a well-placed recovery on Junkyard Dude's end. He doesn't want to give it up that easily. He's like, all right, you're playing out of your mind this stock, but I'm not going to give it to you. Wow, only 45 down. Hold up, Lyra. Basically a charge shot away. Oh, look out for that fully charged megawatt coming out from Junkyard Dude. He's back on there. Can he get back down to the land? He needs just one more hit to even up the stocks here. Getting so close to getting knocked by those aerials. This is very scary. Junkyard Dude does not want to give this up. He's at 83%. He has the advantage. Can he go off stage and try to get this? 97%. Throwing out the Megawatt again. Min Min's really good at controlling that stage. 105. Can he land? Gets caught by the up smash, but it's fairly weak. He goes so high up into the air, Max. I'm scared. Yo, so am I. The bomb stall. Okay, that was... Super important. Wow. Challenges that ledge trap with the rogue up B and it pays off. Oh, that would have been everything right there, especially if he clipped the jump. I don't think Min Min could have made it back even with a jump. It's caught again. 140, 50% off stage has a fully charged shot. If he can get one good push off stage and get an edge guard, he can still put this in. 99% gets a fully clip. Edge guard trap. What's, what's the sitch? What's the sitch? Up tilt? Oh, oh no. He bet, bet it all. It all. Still alive, He's just alive. barely. Lyra is a madman. Oh, wow, just drifting in and out of the range of Min Min's arms. Oh, this is so intense. One back and back here. No way. Oh, it's alive. 173%. Can he get back on there? This is the moment right here. What's the play? Throws out the charge. He just goes for the simple double jump. I think he was too far. He was too afraid to go for it because he gave up so much room. Junkyard who was able to get back to the center stage, throw out the dragon, delete the stock, get rid of the set, and he is going to be your sixth qualifier into the regional finals for East Asia. Good Lord, what an ending. Dude, my heart is racing after that one. Lyra, he, he made it look possible so many times. And yeah, Aussie, I completely agree with what you said at the end. He gave up so much room on that ledge trap. You could tell he just wanted a little bit more charge on his neutral B. And that was probably what did him in. If he stuck it to her there, laid some bombs, threw some tilts out, maybe a grab for good measure. He hadn't grabbed in a long time. I think there is a lot of potential for Lyra to walk away with that one. But man, you got to be kicking yourself after two SDs on the last stock in games one and two. Almost running it back reverse 3-0 with the Samus out of